Protecting Paradise tonight and our commitment to investigating environmental problems. We're learning a lot more about possible harmful effects from long term exposure to blue green algae. This latest research out of the University of Miami shows a possible link between high levels of an algae toxin and brain diseases in dolphins. The deceased dolphins found off the coast of Florida show signs of ALS and Alzheimer's disease. News Channel 5's Jillian Idle joins us now with details. Jillian. Michael and Shannon, I'm at Layton Park, where just last summer there were significant amounts of blue-green algae in the water here behind me. And tonight it's a neurotoxin called BMAA that's being found in dolphins that are exposed to and swimming in the very same water we are. Scientists say it's a startling discovery. That means that our marine life that are, uh, you know, living and, you know, and interacting with these algal blooms are being exposed to this toxin. More than a dozen dolphins in areas known to have reoccurring harmful algal blooms, including the Indian River Lagoon, had high levels of the neurotoxin BMAA in their brains. We haven't been able to establish that the BMA caused their death, but just the fact that it's present in their brains and the researchers saw changes in the brain tissue similar to what you might see in a patient with Alzheimer's or ALS. Experts say it's something they have suspected for years. And that's concerning because dolphins swim in the water that we swim in. They eat the same fish that we eat. So if they're absorbing this potential toxin, there's a real risk that we could be absorbing it as well. Just last summer, veterinarian Christina Maldonado treated several dogs for liver failure after coming into contact with blue green algae. One dog named Finn actually died and it was after further testing that they found the levels that they found were low and we're not sure how significant making vets hyper aware of the potential risk for pets and now keeping a close eye on the latest findings out of the University of Miami. We do anticipate uh, the dolphins uh, from last year may be having more of the toxin, but it, it's very difficult to say until we test them. And Dr. Davis went on to say out of an abundance of caution that you and your pet should avoid any water where blue green algae is found, which typically is in the summer months. He also say says that this research, although significant for marine life, you can't directly correlate it right now to how it affects people. Live tonight in Martin County, Jillian Idle, WPTV News Channel 5.